Hey guys, uh, in this video I'm going to speak about how to read and write data into Excel uh, from SOAP UI using uh, Apache Poi library. Okay, so first of all we need Apache Poi library. Uh, we write into Google Apache Poi download. We go to this page and we download this uh, zip file. After it's downloaded, we have to go into that folder. Uh, so this is that. You have to copy these uh, jar files into your SOAP UI uh, folder, but uh, into a specific folder. Uh, click on that device, bin and ext here. You can put uh, external jar files. So you put these jar files there also these two and also all these uh, the reason that you should put all of these jar files there because i don't know uh, exactly which one do we need from this apache way so i rather put all of them into the external uh, folder ext folder okay so if you have this after that we go into into the uh, SOAP UI so basically the concept is that uh, I have a script here I'm reading data from Excel then I'm putting the uh, the data into a property with that property I'm calling an endpoint I'm getting I'm getting the ISO code of that country. I transfer the property into this uh, request. Then I, yeah, so I put the ISO code here. And uh, with this, uh, I get the capital city of that country. Uh, here, I'm putting the capital city of that country into a property. And, uh, and here I'm writing I'm writing it into the Excel and uh, with this one I'm just like running the whole test uh, case again because I'm running the te this uh, test case again for each row in the Excel and I'm also I also want to show you the Excel couple of seconds okay so so here we have the Excel. Uh, I'm just going to delete these because uh, this is the default format uh, which the script is going to read. So I'm just uh, save this. Okay, and uh, you have to import these uh, these uh, folders so that you can use Apache Poi you have to set the uh, Excel file location also you have to create a file input stream object where you put there your file location and uh, you have to create a new workbook uh, a new HSSF workbook object uh, if you are using XLS, then you need HSSF, but if you are using the newer uh, Excel format, XLSX, then you need XSSF workbook. So you have to get the sheet which you are working on. I'm getting the zero, the number zero sheet because I'm working on the first uh, sheet. So basically everything is zero based here also. Okay, so these things are just like... Uh, so I mean these these are not, not important right now. I'm not going to describe them. Uh, here we have to get the row first because uh, Apache Poi is row based. But for example, in JXL, you 
and you don't have to you don't have to work like this because there you can uh, just give there the uh, column number and row number so you can you can do this in one row but in uh, in Apache way you should use two like two two rows so here we are getting every time the current row and uh, here we get some method we are getting the first column okay and so uh, here we are getting the uh, cells uh, content uh, but if the cells content is not a string then we cannot use this get string cell value we should use another uh, method okay so here here we are like uh, calling the request I, I've uh, I was talking about it and uh, the the writing into the Excel is happening here here we also have to create a file input stream as in the first script file input stream that's because uh, this method is taking only file input stream so you cannot uh, give it give give it a file output stream so here we also have to get the sheet uh, and uh, after that we have to get the row I'm getting the current row and uh, and we also have to get the uh, cell where we want to write it, the data so one means that it's in the uh, first column so basically it's the second column uh, because like here this is the second column but uh, but here we should write it one because it's zero based and uh, here we are setting the basically here we are setting the cells content and uh, the magic happens in this line workbook.write and here we should uh, give it a file output stream because we are like uh, putting something outside from the script basically i'm like remembering it this way and uh, we also have to close the um, these uh, objects because uh, because here's the command we have to release any system resources associated with the streams okay so basically that's all the the main thing is that is happening here with these lines we are reading the data here and we are writing the data into the excel with these lines and also like these with these lines so basically that's all uh, i think to work with excel in a script i think jxl is is better it's uh, i think easier to use because as, as i've said apache poi is uh, more of a, a row based so you first have to get the row and then and after that the cell so yeah basically that's all if you have any questions please put it into the comment section and uh, i hope uh, this video was useful for you thank you for watching bye bye and one thing i have forgot to run the test case so here i'm saving the file like this and uh, i'm running the test case as you can see
it run for every row and if we if we check the Excel then the capital cities are written here so yeah that's all thank you bye bye